Hello and welcome to the third Draw Along with Miss Newbold video. Now today, inspired by our learning about the human body, you're going to do your very own detailed drawing of your eye. For our drawing today, you will need a piece of paper, any type of pencil and a mirror so that you can look really closely at your own eye. Now we're going to start off by drawing the outline of the eye. Now you will need to look at your eye really closely in the mirror to see exactly what shape this is because it's slightly different on everybody. Now on my eye, I have a straighter curve here and then it curves in more towards the edge and then I have the same coming this way. Steeper curve and then it rounds out over here. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to look at is the pupil and the iris of the eye. Now the pupil is the little black hole in the middle that you can see and the iris is the colour that you have around it. Now I'm going to start off by looking really closely at where my pupil is. Now it just almost touches the top and the bottom of my eyelids. So I'm going to see if I can fill it quite big so it almost touches. And then the iris of my eye goes behind the eyelids like this. So if you do those two lines there, then we can imagine that the iris is carrying on behind your eyelids. And then I'm going to look at any of the other details that I can see in my eye. Now in the corner of the eye, I can see a little pink bit of skin where you have the edge of my eyeball and the inside of the eye. And I can also see the shape of my eyelid above, so I'm going to put that in really carefully. Now it starts off a lot more close to my eye here, and then it gets a little bit further away, and then it curves round. And although I don't have a crease in the eyelid underneath, I do have a couple of little wrinkles, so I'm going to pop those in there. So one here, and one here. Right, now we're going to zoom in and look really, really closely at the shape of your eyelashes. Now I can see a few small little eyelashes all the way along the bottom eyelid. So I'm going to do lots of eyelashes coming out from there. I'm looking closely to see what it looks like when they come out. Some of them have got lots close together and then some of them not so many. not all perfectly straight and they don't all go in exactly the same direction. And they're also a little bit thicker towards the bottom so I'm going to go back and I'm going to make them just a tiny bit thicker at the bottom of those eyelashes. There we go, that's starting to look like it. And then along the top of my eye I can see that my eyelashes form a little bit of a black line so I'm actually going to make this line here thicker and shade that in before I draw my eyelashes coming out from it. And then I can see that some of my eyelashes are coming up like this, a little bit thicker towards the bottom so I'm filling that in. They're all coming out in different angles, some of them coming out wide, some of them coming out straight up. Some of them have got a bit of a curve, particularly as you get towards the edge of the eye where you're seeing them on their side. I can see they're curving out this way. So look really closely at your eyelashes, how are they coming off of your eye? that in see how many you can spot as I get closer to this edge of my eye my eyelashes get a little bit smaller so I'm not going to do them quite so long okay there we go 
And I'm just going to check and see if there are any other tiny little details I can spot. So you might notice little freckles, you might notice little creases or little lumps. Now I can see a few little marks here, so I'm going to pop in one of those there. And I can see a few little creases here that I'm going to pop in. Now what I want you to do is look really closely at the way the light is reflecting on your eyeball. Because it might not be that your pupil looks completely black and your irises all look the same. On mine, I can see that there's a little spot of bright light coming in here. And I can see there's a little patch of light here that's a little bit lighter than the rest of my eye. Okay. So you should have your sketch of your eye finished and ready to shade. This is the really important bit. It's going to get it to look really realistic.